Okay, I'm back, and in the previous segment, we were talking about what do objects in our solar system do. And we said that they spin, and we said that the spin could be tilted, and then we also said that they orbit something, and then that can be tilted. Uh, now what we want to do is use those concepts to explain different things that we see on the Earth. So one of the things that we see on the Earth every night is that the stars appear to come up in the east and then set in the west. So the picture that I have there is a, a picture of, of time-lapse photography showing the stars coming up in the east, circling, and then going down in the west. Now if you look, uh, depending on where you live on the Earth, so here in Springfield, we're at about 40 degrees latitude. And so at that latitude, we can, at night, when we look north, we can see the North Star above the horizon. And then if we were to look carefully, we would see that all the stars are really circling, or appear to be circling, around the North Star. <clears throat> and so, uh, the question is why? Well, it's not because the stars are moving, and it's not just the stars, because we, uh, the sun comes up in the east and sets in the west, and so does the moon, and so does the planets. So you've got all of these objects that appear to be coming up in the east and setting in the west. Now one explanation could be that the, uh, it's the earth that's standing still, and then everything else is orbiting around the Earth. So this is one of the theories that the ancient Greeks believed. And we think it's wrong. We pretty much know it's wrong. Because just think of the amount of energy. Just from an energy standpoint, how much energy would it take to move every single object in the entire universe around the Earth? So that would be a lot of energy. So what's the alternative? Okay, it's not that the stars are going around the Earth, it's that it's the Earth as it is spinning makes it seem that way. So as the Earth spins once every day relative to the Sun and the Moon, it makes it look like that they come up in the east and then sets in the west. Okay. Uh, now, the next question is, well, if the Earth is spinning, what direction does it spin? So, does the Earth spin clockwise as viewed down the North Pole or counterclockwise? So, again, here's my, this is actually the moon, but let's pretend that it's the Earth. If you look down the barrel, so you're looking down the spin axis of the Earth, so does it mean that the Earth is spinning clockwise, like this, or does it mean that it's spinning counterclockwise? All right, so first, make a prediction. What do you think? So do you think that the Earth spins clockwise or counterclockwise? Is there any way to prove it? No, well, I guess not. We'll just take it for, no, yes, we can, we can prove it. All right, so how are we gonna prove it? Well, one thing that you could do is find on your globe New York City and then find Los Angeles. Okay, so have you gotten out your, your globe? I'll wait. So put me on pause. Go find a globe. You can do it with anything. You could do it with a tin can. So with your tin can, put an X on it to indicate New York and then put another one in there to indicate Los Angeles. Okay, now let's, uh, you could use a flashlight, you could use a light bulb, but in general it's nice to have something that has a light source. So I'm going to use this thing over here as my sun, and then I'm going to take my globe of the earth, and let's say for example that New York is here, and then Los Angeles is over here. So which one of them sees sun rise first? Would it be New York City or would it be Los Angeles? Okay, it would be 
New York. So what I'm going to do is I can rotate my globe of the Earth so that the rays of the sun are hitting New York City first. Okay, now I'm going to rotate the Earth clockwise and see what happens. So if I rotate it clockwise, what you find is that the sun would actually go down on New York City and then the sun would come back up on Los Angeles first. And that doesn't happen. So if we rotate it counterclockwise, then the sun will come up in New York first and then it will come up in Los Angeles. So try it. See if that's not true. So now we've just verified which way is the Earth spinning. So we're going to, I'll take a break here and then when we come back we're going to look at monthly phenomena.